In this video, I will be solving the past paper questions, paper 1 of the topic, Energy Changes. In this question, the diagram shows an energy profile diagram for a chemical reaction both with and without a catalyst. Which energy change is the activation energy for the catalyzed reaction? Okay, first of all, you should know what a catalyst do to a chemical reaction. Catalyst brings down the peak of the activation energy. As you can see, there are two peaks of activation energy shown in the graph. So the one with the lower uh, peak, which is Bravo, is the energy activation energy peak for the catalyzed reaction. So the correct answer is going to be B. All right. In this question, the diagram uh, shows the energy profile of a chemical reaction. Two energy changes are labeled X and Y. So which statement about the reaction is correct? Uh, before we approach and read the options, let me explain you the graph. In the graph, you can see that the barrier of energy from reactant to the peak is labeled as X and that is actually the activation energy. Uh, and which the reactant particles has to overcome to convert into product. Whereas Y which is the difference of energy between reactant and product is the enthalpy change which the reaction undergoes uh, by absorbing or by releasing heat that is actually the difference of energy which the reactant and product particles are carrying. As you can see that reactants are higher in energy than the product so that means this reaction is exothermic that reactant has lost the energy while converting into product. Okay, now let's read the options. The first option says that activation energy of the reaction is X plus Y. As I have already explained the graph that X is the barrier of energy which the reactant has to overcome. So definitely X is the activation energy. But the option A is saying X plus Y which is definitely not correct. The option B, enthalpy change of the reaction is X. X is the activation energy so X cannot be the enthalpy change. So Bravo is even wrong. Charlie says the enthalpy change of a reaction is X plus Y, which is definitely wrong because enthalpy change is Y, not X plus Y. Delta says the reaction is exothermic. That is correct because reactant are more in energy, higher in energy than product. That means reactant has lost heat while converting into product as this is an exothermic reaction. So the correct answer is Delta. Alright, the next question says which change is endothermic? Before we start uh, working on the option, you must know that endothermic reactions are those reactions in which energy is absorbed by the system from the surrounding and the temperature of the surrounding decreases. So let's look at the option. Option A says methane is reacting with oxygen. That is definitely a combustion reaction and we know from the product as well that this is combustion and combustion is an exothermic reaction so alpha is the wrong option. Bravo says hydrogen atom is reacting with chlorine atom in the gaseous state and we are getting hydrogen chloride gas. So there is no bond breaking and only bond is form forming as in reactants we are having the atoms which are not being broken from their in their atomic structure so atoms are reacting to form a molecule and in molecule the bonds are formed and bond formation is an exothermic reaction so even bravo is a wrong answer charlie says that the water in the gaseous state is being converted into hydrogen in the atomic state and oxygen in the atomic state so that means no bonds are formed only bo bonds are broken and bond breaking is an endothermic reaction because energy is being absorbed in breaking bonds so charlie can be the answer but we are not going to leave re reading option d because i always tell my students re read all the options even though you are very confirm about the correct answer and the option D is saying that water in the liquid state is converting into water in the solid state. That means we are freezing. And in freezing, heat is being released because substance is freezing. So it is releasing heat. That's an exothermic reaction. So definitely a correct answer is Charlie. Alright, in this question they are asking the enthalpy changes when methane, butane and octane are burned completely in oxygen are shown below. So in this table... They have given the delta H value when methane, butane and octane are being completely burned in excess of oxygen. So it's a combustion reaction. 
which are the enthalpy changes when propane and pentene are burned completely in oxygen okay to understand this you must know that they are asking us about the enthalpy change of a propane and uh, pentane which are more closer to butane as compared to methane and octane so that means the enthalpy change of uh, propane should be a little less than butane and the enthalpy change of a pentane should be a little more than butane so using this information we clearly see that in bravo option the enthalpy change of propane is little less than which is uh, 2220 and uh, a little less than butane and uh, enthalpy change of pentane which is 3500 30 is a little more than butane so that is much closer and much uh, precise answer so the answer is definitely bravo for this question all right the next question is the energy profile diagram for the reaction is shown and this graph is given which statement is correct as i have already explained in the previous question that what is enthalpy change it is the difference of energy between the reactant and the, the that barrier of energy and uh, delta H is the difference of uh, energy between reactant and product. So keeping that information in mind, let's read the option. Activation energy of the reaction is H3 minus H1, which is uh, the difference of energy between reactant and the peak or the barrier of energy. So definitely that is a correct option. But uh, let's read the next options as well and look into it why they are not correct. Bravo says the activation energy of the reaction is H3 minus H2. So H3 minus H2 is a uh, difference of energy between product and the peak which is definitely not the activation energy. And uh, the Charlie is saying delta H is H1 minus H2 and H1 minus H2 is uh, definitely not delta H because delta H is the difference of energy between product and the reactant that should be product delta H of product minus delta H of reactant so this is the other way around in the option so that option is definitely not correct and in delta they are saying delta H is uh, H1 minus H3 and H1 is the enthalpy of reactant and H3 is the activation energy so the difference of uh, enthalpy of reactant and the peak of the energy barrier is the activation energy that is not delta H. So delta is also not the correct answer. So our correct answer in this is alpha. Nitrogen and oxygen react according to the reaction. The reaction is given. The enthalpy change for the reaction shown is plus 66 kilojoules. If two moles of nitrogen and two moles of oxygen are used, what will be the enthalpy change? Okay, to understand this, you must know the concept of limiting reactant is used here. Limiting reactant is the one which controls the amount of the product. Here, two moles of oxygen are already being used and producing plus 66 kilojoules of energy. So, if we are keeping the two moles of oxygen as such and increasing the amount of uh, nitrogen, then definitely oxygen is the limiting reactant and increasing the amount of nitrogen is not going to affect the enthalpy of the reaction because no more reaction is occurring after two moles of oxygen is used. So the enthalpy chain will remain same. So Charlie is the correct answer. All right. In the next question, they are saying the formation of the liquid water from hydrogen and oxygen is thought to occur in the three stages. And these are the three reactions. Which stages would be exothermic? Exothermic is the reaction in which it is released and in terms of bond breaking and bond making the bond formation is the exothermic reaction and uh, whenever the state is changing uh, physically of course uh, uh, that can be exo and endo and just look at how the state is changing so we can evaluate is it exo or endo. The first reaction is hydrogen gas and oxygen gas is uh, reacting to produce hydrogen atom and oxygen atom. In the product, no bonds are formed and the bonds are uh, only broken in the reactants. So, the breaking of the bond is an endothermic reaction. So, one is definitely is an incorrect option for exo. 
all right so second equation is atomic hydrogen is reacting with atomic oxygen and water molecule is formed no bonds are broken only bonds are formed bond formation is exo so two can be the correct option uh, two is a correct equation actually for exothermic reaction so equation 3 is saying the water in the gaseous form is converting into water in the liquid state that means the condensation is occurring and in con condensation heat is being released so as ga gas particles are releasing energy and they coming closer and converting into liquid water so this is condensation when heat is releasing so this is a exothermic <laughs> reaction so according to this information the equation 2 and 3 is correct and in the option delta is going to be our answer which is correct 14 question number says that which equation represent a combustion reaction to approach and read the to approach the correct answer and before i read the option you must know that in the combustion the products are carbon dioxide and water so when you look at the equation you will straight away know that charlie is the correct answer because the product forms are carbon dioxide and water and in the reactants we are having organic compound which is burnt in excess of oxygen so charlie is our correct answer for this question All right. Question number fifteen is the combustion of methane is exothermic. The equation is given below. What can be deduced from the fact that reaction is exothermic? All right. So when we are explaining the exo and endothermic in terms of bond breaking and bond making, you must know that we never, never, ever uh, consider the number of bonds which are broken or formed. We always, uh, in we always, uh, you know. consider the amount of energy which is being released and absorbed so we define exothermic reaction in terms of bond making and breaking as the more energy is released during the bond formation than the amount of energy absorbed during bond breaking so according to this information option a is incorrect option c is incorrect because in both the options we are talking about the number of bonds which is completely incorrect to consider so let's read the option b and d bravo and delta bravo says that less energy is involved in bond uh, in breaking the bond and breaking the bond is exo so if less energy is involved so this cannot be oh sorry breaking of the bond is endo so if less energy is involved in uh, breaking bonds which is endo so that can be the correct answer then is involved in bond making because making is exo so more energy is involved in uh, bond making so the reaction is more exo so bravo can be the correct answer but let's read what delta says delta says that more energy is involved in breaking bond that means the reaction is more endothermic so it cannot be the correct answer our correct answer for this question is bravo definitely all right this was the last question of the video uh, i'll make another video to solve the remaining question of this topic so stay tuned keep watching and i'll see you in the next video thank you lafis